I'm Andrew Greenstead, I'm the MD of Record Power. Um, we manufacture and um, supply woodworking machines and accessories around the world, mainly for keen hobby users for home workshops. In 2012 we started a big export drive. The UK wasn't a big enough market on its own to um, justify the investment needed to manufacture more products. Um, as the export has been successful we've been able to bring more production in-house, increase the range of products, make our products unique so that the brand really means something, our products are different to other people's. So we got back into manufacturing in 2014, that was the first bit of in-house manufacture. We did some OEM projects before that, but our own hands-on manufacture started in 2014. And since the end of 2014, the business has trebled in, in size and turnover. We have um, a machine shop now, so we have two CNC bar fed lathes, we have three vertical machining centres, um, band saws, a fabrication bay, a lot of assembly. Um, I'm not sure what the value is, but, 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 a, but a reasonable amount of investment in equipment and a lot planned. There's, I think, three quarters of a million in the budget at the moment for the next step in manufacturing. We've invested in people. We had, when we originally did the buyout in 2003, we were 15 people, we're now nearly 60 of which 22 are directly related to manufacturing. Uh, my name is Jeremy Gunn, uh, I work for Record Power. Um, I'm the design engineer um, responsible for also getting stuff set up in production. I've been working here for uh, about 10 years now, just over. I started off doing uh, as, a, as maintenance and then as, as manufacturing has grown, I've gone into manufacturing as well, doing some quality control and then moved on into um, design engineering and manufacturing engineering. The past 10 years, the, the plan's been to try and bring back more manufacturing to UK shores. So we've ended up with six CNC machines ranging from uh, mills, lathes and a plasma cutter, um, and also a, a number of manual machines as well. Last year we were in 32 different countries, our products were sold. Some were very small, but some, some were bigger than the UK. So some markets are now bigger than the UK. Since Brexit, we've had to um, open a 3PL warehouse facility in Germany, so all of our European business goes funneled through Germany. So we manufacture products here, ship it to the German warehouse, and then it's, it's fed into the rest of Europe from there. We're in the process of setting up a 3PL warehouse in America because America is a big growth market for us. We also operate in Australia, New Zealand, and all over the world. 